Hello everyone, this is the Chinchilla Kingdom and today I'll be walking you through an easy and quick way to make fleece liners for your feisty ferret cage. So this is what the end product will look like. You might have seen the crudination cage and how there are pans at the bottom for you to slide the liners into. Well the feisty ferret cage has a wired bottom so you're probably wondering how you're going to secure the fleece onto there. But don't worry, I have a way to fix that problem. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss my uploads every Sunday. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Here are the materials that you are going to need. Before you start making liners, you need to cut your own cardboard base that you can slide the liners into. The Feisty Ferret Cage comes in a large cardboard box and you are going to want to cut your cardboard into the size of the base. Don't forget to cut an opening on the top level of the cage so your chinchilla can access both levels. The measurements that you want to cut the cardboard are 29 inches by 19 inches and the size of the hole that you should cut is 5 inches by 4 inches. Now that you have your pants created, it's time to make the liners. The first thing you want to do is purchase the fleece. There are many places you can buy it from and they're usually not too expensive. You will need to make two liners because there are two levels on the cage. But for one liner, you're going to need one yard of fleece. Then you want to fold the yard of fleece in half and cut it out to the shape of your cardboard cutout. The reason you want to fold it in half is so that you don't have to sew as much. Next, you want to cut the fleece into the correct measurements. The measurements that I use for the fleece is 33 inches by 21.5 inches and the measurement for the cutout is 6 inches by 4.5 inches. Remember that you only need the cutout for the top level of the cage. Now you can either sew the liners by hand or by using a sewing machine. I don't have a sewing machine so I sew my liners by hand. Honestly, it does not take that much time but make sure you use a thick thread so it is more durable. The bottom liner is pretty straightforward but the top liner is a bit harder to sew because of the cutout. Now we sew. All you have to do is sew two sides of the fleece, leaving one side as an opening for you to slide the cardboard into. So after you have done that, we're going to flip it inside out and the outside should look like this. Before you slide the cardboard into the fleece liners, I wrap my cardboard with a large plastic bag, the same plastic ones that came with the cage. That way your cardboard can last longer and you won't have to worry about it getting wet. Next, you want to create an absorbent layer to soak up the pee. For mine, I usually add an old towel in between the cardboard and the fleece. Now you have everything ready, all you have to do is slide the cardboard into the fleece, the same way you would fit your bed sheets. As you can see, we have the absorbent layer on top of the cardboard with the fleece fitting it all together. If you have any edges, you can just tuck them in or use clips to secure it in place. Now you probably know that the cage only has one door that opens. So when you're putting it in, you can easily just fold the cardboard in half, put it inside, then flatten it out. Just like what I'm doing now. This is how it looks when I put everything in the cage. I recommend you wash your liners every week if your chinchilla is not potty trained, but be careful when you are washing them because they shrink easily. Currently I am in the process of potty training my chinchilla, so we'll see how that turns out. And that's it, you have created fleece liners for the feisty ferret cage. Please let me know down in the comments how you made your liners. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and thank you so much for watching until the end. I will see you next week, bye!